Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Veera Cloud Architect. In this session, we are going to discuss about AWS SNS. SNS stands for Simple Notification Service. In the real world, there are like, you know, many situations we need to get notified. For example, like if our CPU utilization is increasing a lot you know, in our server, we need to get notified so that we can go and uh, like you know find out why uh, our CPU utilization is going high like that we can find the root cause same way in many cases like you know uh, like when we receive some files we need to do some actions so like in S3 bucket if you are trying to delete something we need to get notified so that we can go and find out like you know why it is happening so uh, like in this uh, uh, like you know session I'm going to show S3 event how when some S3 event is happening okay either we can trigger SQS or SNS and Lambda. So likewise we can create and in this session I am going to show you how from S3 event we can trigger SNS simple notification service. Okay, So simple notification is a fully managed service and we can add large number of subscribers and we can send it to many users and to many applications. So these messages can be the form of SMS, email or mobile push notifications and to create uh, like you know SNS uh, first we need to do uh, have a like you know few steps so first thing we need to create a topic so topic is going to tell like you know what sort of message we are going to send and then subscriber and publisher subscriber means uh, like the receiver the person those who are going to receive this email or receive the messages that person is called subscribers and then uh, publisher publisher means the person those who are going to send a message okay so that one is called um, publisher without wasting any time let me go into uh, demo so uh, to get the sns we have to search sns here uh, simple notification service so choose this already i have selected that and i have the sns so before creating SNS, we should have like, you know, the SNS topics can be used uh, like, you know, by region. It's a regional server, region service. So we have to check our S3 bucket should be in a same region. So I'm going to use this S3 bucket for a uh, SNS, okay, to send a notification. So this is in, this bucket is in North Virginia region. So let me go and use the same region. So I have selected North Virginia. So I'm okay. Okay, now I'm going to create a topic. So this topic I'm going to use it for a email alert. Okay, so I'm giving a name as email alert. Next type. And this message just can be standard or FIFO. FIFO means first in first out method, and standard means it can like you know go randomly. Okay, and then if you have any uh, like you know display name we can give it and if you want to in encrypt your data we can encrypt it and just for this example I'm going to show only how we can create a access policy so the access policy should be on a JSON format so we have to create a uh, like you know uh, IAM, uh, IAM uh, permission for this so I'm going to show you how uh, like you know uh, the publisher and subscriber works so publisher means uh, like who is going to create this message and subscriber is who is going to receive this message okay so publisher I am going to choose as everyone in this account can be a publisher and same way I am going to choose everyone can receive so that I don't need to like you know specify exactly like if you want to show like you know only in a specified account we can choose this and we can give the AWS account details and the only those person can receive the emails but for now I'm going to choose like you know anyone can create everyone can create a message and everyone can receive a message anyway because we are going to configure the email so only those people only can access so this is how we can uh, create so I have created a topic now we have to create a subscription subscriptions are nothing but like the person those who are going to receive the email so I'm going to uh, create a subscription as my name. So this is going to be the protocol what we are going to use. So there are many protocol available. We can send these messages to SQS or Lambda function or like you know uh, Kinesis uh, like that we can send it. For now I'm going to use a 
email format okay so email format i have selected and endpoint endpoint should be our mail id i am going to use my personal mail id for this that's all and then create subscription so when you give like uh, like you know create a subscription you might have received an email so we have to go and check our email and we have to give a confirmation see uh, from uh, aws notification i got the subscription confirmation mail so i have to confirm subscription yes i have confirmed uh, uh, like you know subscription so let me go back to my simple notification service so yes correct is done let me go back to my topic so this is the topic has been like you know created the subscription so everything seems okay okay so whether we can straight away publish an email from here or we can create some events so i am going to create a s3 event for this uh, example so let me go to s3 and i'm selecting my bucket and in the bucket there is a property option in that you can find the events event notifications I'm going to send the event notifications so I'm going to give a event name so this is a just three object notifications okay and then so if we have any like you know particular uh, folder uh, then we have we can give when the folder is receiving a mail sorry um, any um, files we can get notified or if somebody is trying to remove we can to choose this option but for now i am going to uh, give for all object events like put post copy anything happened inside my account uh, like s3 account i need to get uh, notified or if somebody is trying to delete i need to get notified if somebody is restoring data i'm going to get notified so all these events i'm going to show but i'm going to choose only these three option so that's everything for now so let me go are you going to send this event to lambda function or sns topic i'm going to use sns topic so now we can get the list of sns topic from this uh, uh, like you no know, drop down so this is the email alert which we have created we can choose that and save changes so that's all our event has been like you know set it up so even notification has been like you know ready so when it will uh, from now it will be uh, like you know checking our s3 bucket whether any file is coming or whether somebody is trying to remove any files i will get notified okay so let me quickly go back to my s3 bucket and try to upload some files okay so that i will get notified let me go to my mail first and then i will just refresh this so event is added okay so i have added a demo uh, cloud synapse uh, s3 bucket for sns notification that's what this email says so now let me go and trigger something okay i will go to s3 bucket and then i'm going to upload some file so if i upload some files i will get notified by email and let me put some sns file itself okay i am up uploading a pp ppt file so i have uploaded one file so this is a little bit big files so yeah it's uploaded now so that's all my file is uploaded now and i have to check my email like i may get email see i have received a email the email says aws sns ppt so yes that's how we can receive a email let me show one more example i am going to delete the same file uh, for this also i will get notified so let me delete this file delete object that's all so now let me go to my mail i might have received a email 
yes i have the email so it says this aws sns ppt has been deleted remove remove object delete marker created so that's everything so we came to the end of the session if you have any questions you can drop me on the comment section yeah thank you bye now